Hey everyone, John Hendricks here for Boot Crew Media coming at you with another episode of The Drive presented by Royal Honda. We're eight days into Saints training camp. Day eight has wrapped up on Thursday, which gave us a look at the Saints uh, back in the pads after being in shells on Wednesday. And, you know, look, it, it had fans were back out at practice and it had a different tone to it. I wouldn't say a bad tone, but you know, look, you looked at everything that happened from the dust up on Wednesday. Uh, things were a lot more tame. I could tell you going outside as opposed to being indoors. So let's kind of talk about some of the big points from day eight of training camp. And so I think the first one we'll start with is Marshawn Lattimore, uh, obviously reported earlier that he left practice a little bit earlier with the trainer unclear as to what happened. Um, but you know, look again, he walked off under his own power. It could have been cramps. It could have been a lot of different things. But as far as right now, don't hit the panic button. It's not like it's a situation where he got carted off or anything like that. So, again, I think it's something that's probably minor. We'll see tomorrow when we get a look at practice. Walked with the trainer. Trainer walked right back out a few seconds later. So, again, that's just kind of give you a little bit of update on where things stand with Marshawn Lattimore. Uh, good news is, man, Paulson Adiba, another stellar day, uh, looking good out there. And so, um, but, of course, you want to have Marshawn Lattimore in the lineup. Other things is obviously C.J. Gardner-Johnson has become a big focus a little bit more now just because, uh, look, he hasn't participated in team drills since Saturday. So we've gone through a few now where he – a guy that was reported a few months ago that he wants a new contract, obviously. And he's one of those players that are in the last year of their contract. Derek McCoy's another one, Marcus Davenport. You got a few of these guys, Deontay Hardy's looking for a new deal, obviously. And, you know, look, this is something to, uh, I guess you would say, pay attention to. So the thing is he's, he's still there. He's participating in stretches, doing walkthroughs, but when it comes to the team specific stuff, not participating here. And so, um, you know, Dennis Allen was asked a little bit about it and obviously said that, Hey, look, you know, this is something that Mickey and him are going to have to handle, but you know, obviously it's focuses on the players that are in there. It gives a chance for more players to have different reps. Bradley Roby's one of them. You could have potentially Alante Taylor in the slot. Bryce Thompson's a guy there. And again, these things play out certain ways. Uh, again, I don't think it's something that you should say, let me hit the panic button on again, just like the Lattimore situation. But it is interesting to see how this kind of shapes out a little bit as we get deeper into training camp and such. Um, you know, so we'll see how that plays out. Uh, Tyron Matthew, obviously, back there again. You know, the biggest things to take away is that he's on a, a, a ramp up period. So wouldn't expect him in seven on sevens and team drills anytime soon. That's something that's going to work itself out. And I think that's something they've done with a lot of these players is just let them kind of ramp up a good bit, then get them into team drills. They've done it with Marcus May, Michael Thomas doing the seven on sevens. He had a veteran rest day today, uh, not, a, you know, there for stretching and got them in attendance. Uh, but, you know, these things are going to happen uh, more and more, and this team's going to be smart. That's why you get Matt Rea, Matt Rea not Mott, not mm, Matt Rea in the mix to uh, kind of help negate some of these soft tissue injuries that the team has been dealing with a lot more lately. Right. And using the analytics, the science that backs up, backs up all of this stuff. And so I don't think there's a big concern. Um, you know, even guys that people have been worried about Marcus Davenport saw him, ha him in the uh, indoor facility doing some rehab work after practice. So he's around Taysom Hill was back on the field. Uh, you know, wasn't in pads or anything, but he was doing some individual work with a trainer, Rashid Shahid. He's a guy that's, dealing with it, coming off an ACL injury. He was running routes today. First time we've seen that and in pads and catching balls. So that's exciting as well. Lucas Kroll came back to practice today. Peyton Turner came back and his presence was, was felt. He had a uh, pass breakup, you know, in the last portion of team drills looking good out there, obviously, you know, had a little bit of dust up with Trevor Penning to start the week, but he's looking good. I think some more players that have stood out, uh, Jawan Johnson had a really good day at training camp. Um, I think that Tony Jones Jr. had a really good day at training camp. He's a guy that, you know, last year was able to to push Latavius Murray and, and Devontae Freeman off the team because of what he was doing in training camp and in the preseason. So, you know, we hadn't talked much about the running back three spot in a while, and I still, still think it's up for grabs. You know, Abram Smith is a guy that I, I believe a lot in, and, for Tony Jones Jr., this is something he needed to have happen. He had a, some really good runs today, broke a couple. Um, you know, I, I think you look at other players that had good days of practice. Alvin Kamara's looked great, beat Zach Bond on a wheel route at uh, 
scored for a touchdown on and in his particular one. I mean, it's just, you know, you see a lot of the familiar cast and characters. I think some of the things that really stood out play of the day, if you will, was when Chris Lave had a, a, a route and just absolutely juked the mess out of the defender and just kind of like a, a step jam, if you will, or step jab. And, and then he was just able to do it. Paulson and Devo had a pick. He broke up some, some Chris Lave stuff. And then Bradley Roby also had a really nice pick. So look, I, I think uh, looking at, sorry, shaking the camera, the, uh, the saints have obviously had some good practices. I'm curious to see where they go because you got the Texans preseason game right around the corner. I think you're starting to see a lot more of, of these Saints players and kind of where they might fit in as far as, you know, depth and all that. And we'll see when the depth chart does get released. But, you know, look, I think big question is, is Jameis going to play some in this preseason game? Look, he looks great. And he looks outstanding, just like Michael Thomas. He looks outstanding. Jameis Winston, you know, just uh, hearing him talk yesterday on Sirius XM Radio, same thing with Dennis Allen is, you know, Allen said that, he's no longer on a maintenance plan for his knee. So that's the biggest takeaway. And then Jameis feels strong. He said he feels stronger right now in that leg. And so uh, he's able to do a lot more roles and, and run more. And so, uh, you know, sounds like he's about right there and, and saints expect a big year from him. And why not? you got a lot of weapons around you and a lot of good things. So, um, you know, I think those are kind of the big points for camp today. Um, you also had Gerald Hawkins that went off the field a little bit early, Early on in training camp, he didn't return. So we'll see how kind of things kind of continue to roll and play out. I mean, once you have these pads on and you're in the moment and doing stuff, some people get stepped on. I mean, there's a lot of things that happen, right? I mean, you saw the other day Jarvis Landry pull up on around an ankle, leg. Was it looked like it was an issue, but he ended up being fine returning to practice. So, again, uh, you know, Lattimore is a big focus from today. C.J. Garner-Johnson, but Jawan Johnson is a guy that looked good. Tony Jones Jr. looking good. Adam Troutman is another one that's kind of stood out. Did have the ball stripped from him from Zach Bond today on one of the team drills. But, man, uh, you know, we're eight days into this thing. I think we've got a good bit of questions answered so far. I'm looking forward to Friday and what that brings Saturday. Team will be off on Sunday. Then you have a kind of a, I wouldn't say short week, but obviously you have a few shorter periods before you do get ready for that preseason game against the Texans. And as always, you can check out all my full recaps of observations and notes at saints.media and then keep it tuned here. All the latest and greatest from Boot Crew Media. I'm John Hendricks. Thanks again to Royal Honda for producing today's show. Thanks, guys.